Just over 20 years ago, I was tested for a condition called familial hypercholesterolemia because I was found to have high cholesterol and a family history of heart disease. My father died of a heart attack the day before his 58th birthday. I was recalled back in to see if I'd participate in the 100,000 Genomes Project. And this is exploiting the best available knowledge about our DNA. Looking at some of these conditions and the, the genetic defects that give rise to them, what that means is that we can then all get medicines that are personalised to us. So we're particularly focused on rare diseases and cancer and infection. And in cardiovascular disease, we're working on 1,200 families today with different types of cardiac disorders, including familial high cholesterol. So in people like Simon's case, where there is a suspicion of familial high cholesterol and the person has a very high cholesterol level, uh, we can uh, take the, their DNA and read through the entire 3.1 billion letters that make you and I the individual we are. And that allows us to have line of sight, potentially, on the changes in the DNA that could be causing the elevated cholesterol. What we've sought to do in this project is to do something that's really quite unique. And that is to position the research engine of our universities right up against the health system, such that the research done here can be migrated into the healthcare of patients directly in our National Health Service within three to six months. It usually takes an average of 17 years for a discovery to reach clinical care. We're determined that that won't happen here. It takes an average of three years for people to get a diagnosis in the National Health Service today. And I believe with whole genome sequencing, we can transform that for at least a quarter of the patients based on the evidence we have today. And I suspect by the time we're finished, even more. The National Health Service is preparing to commission whole genome sequencing based on this project. So we believe this will be eventually UK-wide and we'll have the most advanced genomic medicine service for healthcare in the world. It's been a process that's actually been very simple and very easy. It's been very well explained. I've been sure about what's going on at every stage. And I'd really encourage people, if you're invited to take part in this research project, please do. You'll get some answers that may be tailored to you as an individual. But very importantly, you'll be participating in a project which will make so much difference to people right across the UK and ultimately right across the world in terms of our knowledge of the conditions that we get because of changes in our DNA.